Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blitzwolf BW P9 power bank. Now this guy is a 10,000 milliamp power bank. It has USB-C and USB-A and um, as you can see the packaging is pretty bland. I bought this off of Banggood and I got it on sale, really good price. I paid a little over $10 Australian for this, which is an insane deal. But uh, basically for 10 bucks, I figured, you know, I have to pick it up. So like I said, this is the BWP9 power bank. And if we look at the back here, it says 10,000 milliamp uh, battery. And uh, basically it's got type C uh, and, you know, it's got some input output information in there. But I figured I'd just open this guy up and show you guys what's on the inside. Because like I said, the box is pretty boring. Uh, not going to lie. So let's see what we got here. So in here, it looks like we have just a little micro USB charging cable. Now, uh, this guy, the BWP9, can be charged with a micro USB or it can be charged via USB-C. It's a bit of a shame that they don't include a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, I guess I can kind of understand why they didn't include that. I mean, they are a little pricey, I guess. Um, probably just keep the cost down, but it was 10 bucks. I can't complain. So let's just dump everything out here. So there's nothing else in the box. I'm going to chuck that over there. Let's take a look at this. What is this guy? Uh, this basically is looks like a customer feedback sort of thing. You're not happy with it. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Um, you know, you're not happy with it. There's the info, who to get in touch with, so on and so forth. So, again, let's put all that stuff off to the side. What do we got here? We've got the user manual. Okay. So if we open this up, uh, it's just basically uh, tells you how to use it. Some device specifications, uh, obviously in other languages, da 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 da. Tells you how to be careful about certain things, blah 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 blah. It's all pretty, pretty standard stuff, so let's just take that and chuck that over there. And here is the power bank itself, let's get rid of that. So as you can see, this is uh, you know a fairly slim power bank. Again, it's 10,000 milliamp hours. I know that there are thinner ones on the market, but I would say this is roughly the size of like I don't know, like maybe like an iPhone 6 or something like that. Uh, you know, it's it's not super thin, but it's not super chunky, and you know I feel like it's a decent size. If we take a look at this, basically we have the Blitzwolf logo just up at the top. Um, this is a sort of um, how would I describe this? It's kind of got a bit of a texture feel to it, but this is all plastic. Uh, on the sides here, we have that sort of matte, just sort of plastic here. Um, and it's hard to see here, but basically right there, that is a battery level indicator. So obviously you have 25%, 50 75 100%. If we flick it over on the side here, there's a little button, and if we press that, it will tell you what the charge is. Okay, now, um, pretty good. I just got this thing. I haven't charged it or anything yet, so it's saying it's close to 100%, so uh, happy with that. Uh, if we take a look here, just on this end, so obviously here's your USB-A, there's your micro USB, and there's your USB-C port. So uh, USB-C here uh, is capable of powering up the power bank, so you can charge it that way, or you can charge it via the micro USB cable. Um, but you could also do power delivery with USB-C up to 18 watts. So uh, this will be a quick charging device. And um, I mean, look, you could probably connect it to your laptop or an iPad or something like that to try to charge it. It would probably charge it very, very slowly. But it does have power delivery. So, um, you know, whether or not you could really use it to charge your laptop is probably not the best idea in the world. But anyway, let's grab my phone and uh, take a look at how this guy charges up. Okay, so I've got my phone. Uh, it's a Samsung Note 10 Plus. Um, just for size comparison, you can kind of see here, um, obviously a little bit thicker than the phone, uh, but it is a decent size. It doesn't, I mean, if you're traveling with this guy, it's not going to be a huge issue. Um, I mean, you know, you could easily check it in the bag. It'd be fine. So you can see just the size comparison there. Pretty decent for a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. I think the Note 10 Plus has a fairly small battery. I think it's only 35 or 3,600 or 4,000 milliamp hours or something like that. But basically, this guy here could charge this phone at least two times. So, uh, you know, for the size, pretty good. But anyway, let's take a look at this. So I've got just a uh, USB-A to USB-C cable here. So if I plug this into this port here, 
and we plug it into my phone. Let's take a look here. So obviously it says it's charging, and it's fast charging. So 67%, 43 minutes until full. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. All right, now let's try this other cable that I've got over here. So uh, as you can see here, I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. So if we were to take this and plug that in here, so that's your USB-C, uh, we can see how the battery went down a little bit, so it probably wasn't at 100%. That's okay. Okay, so we're fast charging again through USB-C. What I want to do next is I want to grab my laptop. I have a Lenovo laptop that charges via USB-C. I want to bring it over here and just see if this guy supplies power to it. Okay, so as I mentioned before, uh, my Lenovo laptop here, which is a uh, E14 Gen 3, charges via USB-C. So I've got a USB-C cable plugged into it already, and um, let's just plug this in. Now, again, this has an 18-watt power delivery, so um, I'll just talk about what that means in a second, but basically what I want you guys to take a look at is this ThinkPad up here. So if this power bank is capable of charging this laptop, that little LED, so the eye, or the dot on the eye, will glow red. So let's just have a look here and see what it does. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it did flash red. Now the problem with this is, is that my ThinkPad has a, I think it's a 65 watt battery that, or sorry, 65 uh, watt charger that comes with it. This is only 18 watts. So basically, you wouldn't be able to charge this device with this power bank while you were using the device. Uh, I, I think the way that it works is that this would just chew up too much electricity. Um, I have a feeling that this is just too weak to charge this particular laptop. You might be able to essentially drain this battery into this one, but it would take forever. Um, it's just not powerful enough to do that. So basically, uh, not a great power bank for uh, charging up larger devices like a laptop or like an iPad Pro or something like that. Um, but for your phone, obviously, it's a pretty good option. Uh, you could also charge two devices at the same time. So you can charge a uh, something through the USB-A as well as the USB-C. So that's always handy. Uh, but anyway, that's it for the Blitzwolf uh, BWP9. Uh, it's super cheap. I got it for 10 bucks. I'll leave a link down in the description. I got it from Banggood. Probably won't be that cheap if you guys take a look at it now because, like I said, I got it on a crazy deal. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty well made. It's fairly light. It's pretty slim. So if you're in the market for a 10,000 milliamp hour battery uh, that can quick charge your phone, uh, definitely take a look at this particular unit. It's pretty good. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Gizmo Joe. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, give this video a like, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. It really helps me out. If you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me up in the comments section below. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.